resignation email and how to tackle the 90 day notice period do a lot of research before joining the company so that you don't regret third step hota hai ki company buy back kar le ye company jo hai ye company tumhe buy kar le wahan se and the second part is if you are a good candidate and if you are given the interview very nicely so you can know, talk to that company also the company who is giving the offer letter so those who are following me and those who have had a one on one with me uh, they know uh, what is the surprise so, so on top is the bread then in between we have lot of mixture and then at the end we have a soft material which is the bread sorry i'm late for the meeting or you can say uh, thank you for your patience for waiting for me because this is the last period of your time where you are going to leave the company hello techies welcome back to the channel my name is krishna and i am a big data tester working in a multinational company so uh, today's video is going to be about writing and resignation email and how to tackle the 90 day notice period or you can say the 3 months of notice period which is very long and how to tackle that how to uh, go about that and how to negotiate with the other company which has given the offer and uh, is it going to be immediate joining or is it going to be uh, how do i tackle the situation all this i will give in detail so let's get started with the video So if you are watching this video I will cover most of the topic in English and in case required I will cover some of the topics in Hindi so please let me know if you want uh, the same video or a detailed video in Hindi or English and if you are not very fluent with English then uh, I would uh, make a separate video on how to improve your English communication skills and please watch that as well so that will come maybe by next year 2023 in the month of january i'll make that video for those who are watching me for the first time please watch my video with technical suneja uh, the podcast which is uh, going viral and which has crossed already 3 lakh views and uh, i'll be coming up with a surprise in the coming year that is in 2020 2023 so those who are following me and those who have had a one on one with me uh, they know uh, what is the surprise all the test engineers all the testing community keep following my channel and keep watching me on linkedin so that i will post you with a surprise in 2023 mostly in the month of january or february uh, a new podcast will come which will actually uh, shock you so keep following me and keep watching me uh, and uh, hopefully uh, i will be coming with a new video on uh, testing and uh, that will actually keep your uh, now open your eyes and uh, keep you shocked so please keep watching so coming to the topic uh, the topic is uh, resignation email and how to tackle the 90 day notice period so the first is resignation email writing any email please use this method which is called as a sandwich method where the there is a bread on top that is soft there is all the mixture whatever you can say some hard particles or some something soft or cheese you know or butter or whatever it is so on top is the bread then in between we have lot of mixture and then at the end we have a soft material which is the bread so or you can take a burger a soft uh, material on top in between a lot of things a mixture and then at the bottom again a soft material so this method is called as sandwich method okay so in this method what you do is in a email you start very nice with a soft you know starting and or you can say uh, be grateful or have that gratitude or uh, show some uh, positiveness in your email and then in between in the body of the email when you write that in detail about whatever topic you are discussing so write that and then at the end close it with a positive note or with a solution if you are talking about a problem or with a solution so while writing the resignation email please start with a positive note uh, mostly thank all the team members and the project manager and your manager own manager it can be your only resource manager or it can be project manager or technically project manager so please thank them mention their some of the good qualities to at least pump them up because this is the last period of your time where you are going to leave the company so it mostly depends on the uh, people whom you have worked with so the manager it depends on the manager so a lot of things 
as i will speak uh, in the further part of the video a lot of things depends on them so that's why if you appreciate them now so this email is actually going to uh, play with you and help you psychologically which i will uh, mention in the next part of the video please write the email uh, in a very positive note start with very positively thank people whom you are working with thank the project managers thank the managers and then mention why you are leaving the reason do not mention your package for sure do not mention the package or do not mention the tech stacks or do not mention about the company in the email so please be careful about these things if you want a detailed video how to write a uh, resignation email and if you want a sample of it please comment in the comment box so that i will make a separate video on how to write a resignation email how to start how to uh, explain and what all reasons can be given that you can uh, that i will make a video separate video but i want more comments the more the comments i will make the video faster so this is how you write a, a resignation email start positively the sandwich method the bread or soft bread and then you part write the mixture the reason behind your resignation and then end with a positive note about the company or and about the team and then close the email and send the email uh, make sure you don't make any grammatical error in while writing email you can use grammarly or you can use ms word please use the correct grammar do not make any mistakes take ample amount of time because this is going to be your last email in this company i mean most of the time it is going to be your last email so when it is going to be a last email to so make sure if it is your last email make sure to make it the best one okay so write a best email use the right grammars use the right positive frames when you are writing the uh, sentences and words don't use any negative word try to use those words which are positive in the same sentence uh, if it is something negative uh, say for example sorry i am late for the meeting the same sentence can be can be uh, no reiterated or can be said in a positive note saying that thank you for your patience the same sentence sorry i'm late for the meeting or you can say uh, thank you for your patience for waiting for me you see there is the first part when you say sorry that it tells sounds that you are late and you are not punctual shows uh, negative qualities but when you say thank you it shows your positiveness although you have committed a mistake so similarly use the right no no the right choice of words will help you in the next process of it don't make any grammatical errors use grammarly use ms word frame the right sentences read some of the resignation emails online try to make the best so make sure you can take the whole day make take 2 3 days to write a resign resignation email because the sending just is control enter the moment you hit control enter on outlook the email goes sending the email is very easy so make sure you write the email first and then write it to your manager and if there is a senior manager or someone who is whom you are reporting them you can put it in cc uh, so this is how you write a resignation email make sure it's very positive and it's not something negative that you are leaving and <laughs> company is going to end or you are going to end so make sure you are writing the email very positively so coming on to the next part where how to tackle this 30 days notice period so the first and the foremost is you should have a very good relationship with your manager with your project manager or uh, your manager whom you are reporting to so with them you should have a very good relationship and a good relationship with the hrs so mostly mostly if you don't interact much with the hr then things are fine i would say okay but if you mingle a lot with hr so be very careful they have a lot of power in your career okay uh you know during this resignation time during your appraisal time this hrs do have a lot of power where we don't recognize okay so make sure you have a good relationship and if you uh, have very less relation uh, very less interaction with hrs so make sure those are positive and those are very professional so two things have good relationship with your manager and the team have good relationship with the hr so these are two things if you are going newly in a company so make sure you have this till the time of your resignation and if you don't have then the second part would be there will be a little bit of friction but you can tackle this 90 day period so one first and the foremost thing is have good relationship the first part is when you have a good relationship when you have a good relationship so when you have the offer letter and there is going to be a joining date which is earlier than 90 days and the company wants you to join before 90 days so what do you do you go ahead and talk to your manager saying that uh, don't mention the name of the company don't mention the package don't mention the stream or the project details you just say i don't know 
okay for the package you say i have signed the non disclosure agreement so i cannot do or uh, just to uh, make them comfortable the managers comfortable or whoever you are interacting with in, the, in that company just say 30% hike or 40% from the my current salary you can just mention that so that will you know at least give them sympathy so oh yeah he is sharing things so not to keep them all in dark not to you know, give them all the information so be little careful there and then uh, what do you do is go and talk to them and say uh, they want me to join little early and uh, so can i get a uh, uh, early release uh, so i don't want to serve all the 30 day all the 90 days of period or the 3 months of period can i get a early release so that i can join that company and it's a very good opportunity for me so if you think a little bit about my career so please release me early so this is a request that you can make and it can be very polite so the way you uh, convince them will be very helpful and even if you have a bad relationship with the manager uh, then also at that point in time since this is your requirement this is your need you want a early release so let's bend down a little and you know just speak softly don't beg please don't beg there is a difference between being bending and begging okay bend a little be little soft and if you have committed a mistake or you have been you know spoken harshly or any of this sort in it happens in a project so if anything of this sort has happened so uh, ask for sorry ask for forgiveness and try to convince them this is a good opportunity i have a career in future so please support me at this point in time please help me to get a really release so that i can join that company and i'll be very thankful to you so try to pump them up little try to convince them and try to say that you need them so if they feel that yes they are important so they will surely support you so that way try to do this and the second part is if you are a good candidate and if you have given the interview very nicely so you can know, talk to that company also the company who is giving the offer letter talk to that company saying that stating that uh, after you have a conversation with them so that it can be 45 days or it can be 2 month okay it, it is not 3 months but it has reduced a little so you can go talk to that company and say this is what the conversation that i had and uh, if you have something in email then you can send a screenshot to them also and say them try to convince them also saying that uh, they are not uh, ready to leave me before 2 months or maybe 45 days so just give me some time and i will surely jo- join you convince them and that way they'll be convinced and if you put the information in a polite manner in a convincing manner for sure they'll be convinced so this is how you will tackle this 90 period so try to negotiate in the company you are working have good relationship and use the right words to convince them so that you get the you know, early release and then talk to this company also your interview is very good they will surely agree with it and if they are not agreeing then i would say uh, try your level best this this is what what you can do and if they are not agreeing keep giving interviews anyway you have this two month of time so if since i mean they have agreed to two months or maybe 45 days so you still have 45 days to re- for release if they are not agreeing to wait for 45 days then what kind of a company they are and what care they will do for the employee so you can go ahead and keep giving interviews get more offer letters maybe uh, they will also learn a relation that they lost a good candidate and if you don't want to miss that opportunity so at the end of the day you will have to convince your company the company you are working in i have to convince them nicely to give a re- early release and this company who which you are selected you can ask them if they can buy back so basically this company will pay some money to this company so that you get a early release so this is an option where um, companies have a buy back policy where this company buys you or maybe you pay some money to get early release so that that is also an option so these are some of the ways that you can do so basically try to convince the company you are working on try to convince the company who have given you the offer letter and try to negotiate with the manager most of the time it is manager if your manager is good and if you have a good relationship with the manager for sure you will get early release and good relationship with the hr also because sometimes uh, the manager is okay but the hr will say it will take 10 days 15 days or whatever the number may be so if you try to talk with the hr and convince them to you know fast in the process that way they are helpful at times so that way have good relationship with the manager and the hr so good relations with the manager and the hr try to convince them so all these details you may not you know be able to write it in email 
your resignation email is gone and after that they will have a meeting with you the manager will have one on one with you or the senior manager may have one on one with you at that point in time try to convince them verbally because there you can show your emotions when you write you may not be able to show your emotions so that way show your emotions show your feelings express your gratitude and express your if you have committed any mistake just ask sorry also and be grateful in that you have given me ample amount of opportunity and i have learned a lot from you uh, you know <laughs> try to pump them up so all this you try to do and in the other company you try to say that i have spoken to them they have agreed for two months it is not going to be three months but it is going to be two months or 45 days and then put it across to them and i have spoken to them i will surely join you give them that conviction saying that yes you are going to join in, in two months so if they have that conviction they will wait for you and this company if they have good relationship with you they will try to release you as early as possible and your email the resignation email speaks a lot about you make sure you write it and if the if you have some people who are good at writing emails view your email with them also so that your e- email comes out to be very nice without any grammatical errors use the right choice of words in the email give the right points thank the right people so all that information you should be very careful about and when you are talking to the other company they should be convinced that you are going to join within so and so time uh, so little bit about uh, i will say in hindi so jab is company mein hai is company mein aapka email bada tagda hona chahiye theek hai aur is company mein jab aap baat kar rahe hain kisi cheez ko negotiate karne ki koshish kar rahe hain manager se baat kar rahe hain aur apne uh, hr se baat kar rahe hain to thoda soft baat kijiye थोड़ा ऐसा बात कीजिए कि आपने बहुत कुछ किया है अभी मेरे को एक अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रही है तो आप मदद करेंगे तो मेरा करियर अच्छा हो जाएगा तो इस तरह से आप बात करेंगे तो उनको अच्छा लगेगा कि हाँ हमारी वजह से उसका करियर अच्छा हो रहा है आपसे बहुत सीखा है इस कंपनी से बहुत सीखा है थोड़ा इस तरह से बात करेंगे और आप हिंदी में अगर देख रहे हैं इस वीडियो को तो मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि आपको इंग्लिश सीखना बहुत ज़रूरी है और इंग्लिश सीखें कैसे प्रैक्टिस कैसे करें अपनी इंग्लिश कैसे इम्प्रूव करें अपनी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स कैसे इंप्रूव करें इसके ऊपर मैं एक वीडियो लाऊंगा जो कि हिंदी में होगा तो वो वीडियो मैं जनवरी में शायद रिलीज करूंगा तो आप अगर इंग्लिश सीखना चाहते हैं और चाहते हैं कि आपका कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स इंप्रूव हो तो प्लीज़ कमेंट करें कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स तो मैं इस पर एक वीडियो बनाऊँगा पक्का और अपनी दूसरी कंपनी जिस कंपनी को आप ज्वाइन करना चाहते हैं उनको भी कन्विंस कर दीजिए कि मैंने बात किया है वो लोग थोड़ा जल्दी छोड़ देंगे जल्दी रिलीज कर देंगे मुझे तीन महीने तो नहीं थोड़ा नेगोशिएट करने के बाद साठ दिन या फिर पचहत्तर दिन फोर्टी फाइव डेज़ हो चुके हैं उतने दिन में रिलीज़ कर देंगे नाइन्टी डेज़ नहीं होगा तो इस तरह से इनसे बात करेंगे और एक थर्ड स्टेप होता है कि कंपनी बाय बैक कर ले ये कंपनी जो है ये कंपनी तुम्हें बाय कर ले वहाँ से तो ये थोड़ा पैसा दे देंगी और अगर ऐसा नहीं है तो आप इन कंपनी से पूछ सकते हैं कि मैं कुछ पैसा दे दूं और वो मेरे को जल्दी रिलीज दे दें तो इस तरह की ऑप्शन भी होती हैं बट आपको एच से बात करनी पड़ेगी और ये ऑप्शन जो होता है लास्ट ऑप्शन रखिए बाकी स्टार्टिंग में जो ऑप्शन है नेगोशिएट करना बात करना और बातों में सब हो जाए तो बहुत अच्छी बात है बट रेजिग्नेशन ई तो आपको भेजनी पड़ेगी और उसमें पैकेज के नाम कंपनी के नाम जो आप ज्वाइन करने वाले हैं ये सब चीज़ें मैंशन ना करें और खाली थैंक यू करें और रीज़न लिखें कि क्यों आप छोड़ना चाहते हैं नेगेटिव रीज़न ना लिखें कि मैं कंपनी अच्छी नहीं है मैं छोड़ रहा हूँ ऐसे नेगेटिव रीज़न ना लिखें कुछ अच्छा पॉजिटिव रीज़न लिखें कि मुझे अच्छा अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रही है इसलिए मैं छोड़ना चाहता हूँ तो बी पॉजिटिव इन योर ई मेल बी पॉजिटिव एन योर टॉकिंग टू ए मैनेजर एंड एच आर बी पॉजिटिव टू द कंपनी होम यू आर गोइंग टू ज्वाइन डू अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च बिफोर ज्वाइनिंग द कंपनी सो दैट यू डोंट रिग्रेट लिविंग अ गुड कंपनी एंड ज्वाइनिंग अ बैड वन इवन दो सर सैलरी में इंक्रीज बट इफ यू आर ज्वाइनिंग अ बैड कंपनी लिविंग अ गुड कंपनी सो दैट वुड बी अ बैड डिसीजन एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वेर यू वर्क द पीपल यू होम यू वर्क दे आर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इफ दे आर गुड एंड नाइस एंड हेल्पफुल सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ गुड जर्नी इफ नॉट दैन इट विल बी अ हार्ड टाइम फॉर यू I hope you like the video please comment if you have any doubts and please comment if you have any other questions or if you want me to make videos on any other topic please comment it in the comment box and for sure wait for the january or february month where i'm going to come up with a surprise for all the testing community that are watching my video so it is going to be a very big surprise in the month of january is my birthday and in the month of january i'll be coming up with a very big surprise so keep watching the video and keep watching the channel so a lot of things are coming so see you next week on thursday at 7 pm bye bye